Well, welcome back, everyone. Today we are joined by Dr. Darlene Weyer from the Lima Memorial Women's Health Center to talk about recent changes to breast cancer screening guidelines by the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force. So thanks so much for joining us, doctor. Thank you All for having right. me. Good, good. All right. Well, firstly, can you explain to us the recent changes made to these guidelines? Yes. Yeah, so in 2009, the United States tentative or task force came out with guidelines stating that women should, at the age of 50 should have a mammogram every single year. Um, and they recently came back and said um, that they're changing their guidelines, um, that they are now suggesting that women have mammograms starting at the age of 40 and have those every other year instead of 50 because they went back and they've looked at the research. Um, they've talked to the scientists, the experts in um, breast health. And what they have found out that um, the cancers that are the most aggressive and the fastest growing are cancers in, in patients who are younger, like in their 40s. So we certainly don't want to wait to the age of 50 to have your mammogram. So how might lowering the recommended age impact early detection and then the outcomes for women? Yes, yeah, so um, if we have mammograms starting at the age of 40, which is what um, the breast experts have always recommended, we've never recommended starting at the age of 50. Um, the major universities, um, hospitals in the country, um, the breast cancer experts in the country have always recommended starting mammograms at the age of 40 because if we're able to pick up the cancers when they're very small, um, they're easier to be treated and their survivability is so much greater. Um, what we've shown by starting mammograms at the age of 40 instead of the age of 50 is the mortality rate decreases by 42%, which is huge. Um, the other thing that is um, important that I want um, the community to know is that we are still strongly recommending that patients have mammograms every single year. It's what the breast experts are recommending, the American College of Radiology recommends, the Society of Breast Imaging recommends, it's what most university hospitals big um, hospitals across the country as well as community hospitals are still strongly recommending doing mammograms every single year because what you don't want to do is have your mammogram today, your breast cancer start tomorrow, and then you wait two years to come in to have your mammogram because that gives the cancer time to grow and spread throughout the body. So it increases the mortality rate. So having mammograms every single year is so incredibly important. Right, exactly. The very true. Now, I know that Lima Memorial has the ABUS 2.0 available as a supplemental screening for patients with dense breast tissue. So can you explain what the benefits of this screening are in combination with annual mammograms? Yes, and I like the way you said that, in combination with annual mammograms, because it certainly does not replace the annual mammogram. It is an adjunctive tool that we use to detect breast cancers in patients who have either heterogeneously dense breast tissue or dense breast tissue. And the only way we know how dense your breast tissue is, is by doing a mammogram. It's not based upon age, um, patient body habitus. Um, it's only determined by having the mammogram. And the reason um, that it's an, a great tool is that all breast cancers are white on a mammogram. And if you have a lot of dense glandular tissue or heterogeneously dense breast tissue in your breast, that white breast cancer could be obscured or hidden by that glandular tissue. So when we add the ABUS exam to the patient, another modality, um, all cancers on that modality are a shade of gray. So it's real easy to see the cancers in all that white background. And so we're able to pick up more cancers, about 37% more cancers than we would otherwise by doing the mammogram alone. Wow, that's amazing. What a great device to have on hand as well. So what advice would you give to women regarding breast cancer screenings and, and then also just taking charge of their breast health? Yes, I just want women in our community to feel empowered, to know their value. Um, a lot of times as women, speaking as a woman, we get so busy taking care of everybody else. Um, we get busy with our work, you know, taking care of our children, grandchildren, um, friends, family, coworkers, staff. And um, by taking 15 minutes for yourself, a mammogram is a 15 minute exam that can literally save your life. I just want women to feel empowered and to feel their value and to know that it's important to take time for yourself because if we can pick up those cancers when they're very small, they're very treatable, and then she has a long time that she could survive. It increases her survivability. I always say if something you know feels different, kind of listen, listen to your body, right? Yes, listen to your body because women know their breasts best. 
So if you notice any changes, any palpable abnormalities, any skin changes, nipple discharge, breast discomfort, pain, anything different than your normal, um, bring it to your referring physician's attention as quickly as possible so that we can get you in and get you worked up to try to figure out what is causing it. Um, and women can have um, mammograms done both here at the medical park and at our WAPOC office. And um, if they have a symptom, they need to have an order by the doctor. But if they don't have any symptoms, they can have a screening mammogram and they don't need an order. And they can just call the number at the bottom of your screen to schedule their mammogram. Don't go away because we have more than we return.